So the final race of Grand National Week then is the Starters Order 6 Chase Qualifier. And we've got a pretty big field for this. It's a two and a quarter mile race. It's two mile two full or to the extended two mile two. As with the hurdle, and the top one is Call the Nurse, David Roberts and Eagle has landed Joshua Sutherland, which is Sticks, Leon Van Rensburg, Cumber Valara, Darren Thompson, Made in Arkham, Martin Leedham, Mad Maddie, Carl Arragante, Jim Murray, Derek Hinton, Bay of Schools, Graham Clutterbuck, Pipe and Lie, James Follis, Bella Fortuna, Stu Gray, Gravy Train, Kevin Minahan, Run for Your Lives, Obi Wan, Nocho, Daniel French, Miss Peak, Alex Cherry, Mutanaka Black, Darren Howes, and XL Ashkalani, Doug Warren. So 16 of them then. Final time this week, called in and away, and call the nurse. The grey poked its head in front to start, but now Jim Murray, it would seem, is going to go on uh, down towards the first, and Jim Murray gets over the first in the lead. And leads by about a length to call the nurse. And pay of schools, they're already at the second and over the second as well. All over that one, okay. With Jim Murray in front. Bay of School second, then Mutanaka Black and Call the Nurse the Grey on the inside as they take that next one. Hexel Ashkalani jumped up well into fourth there. The early back marker is Kumba Valara. It's Jim Murray by a length or so then to Call the Nurse second. Mutanaka Black on the wide outside is just about fourth. Pipe and Lloyd in the blue though on the inside will probably claim that spot pretty soon. Excel Ashkelani and Bella Fortuna are also pretty close up as they take the fourth. And over that one okay again with Nocho. Now the back mark, I wanted to just slightly out of shot. Miss Pete Nocho and Gravy Train at the back, but it's Jim Murray in the lead. Over that one they go. Also for the over that one as well. And the pace is pretty hot again. And Jim Murray leads by four or five to Mutanaka Black in the orange. In second place, then call the nurse the grey horse in third, and Bay of Schools in the Graham Clutterbuck Welsh flag colour to fourth, with the blue of pipe and light after that one as they take the sixth, and that'll be the last on the next circuit. Over the little road past the stand for the last but one time, really, because next time is the time that counts. We've seen the winning post go by, and the big screen, and they'll swing out right handed shortly for one last circuit of Hereford, and then that'll be week 11 in the books just two weeks ago and as they come to number seven and they skip over that one and we've lost one there mad matty is a faller so mad matty's out time to do a little bit of quick advertising we're going to be desperately needing race runners i think next season it doesn't look like we're going to have many left as quite a few of the ones that have been doing it this season appear to be departing so if you fancy doing a bit of that it will be most welcome because this week a big shout out to gray Stu and Josh, who've had to do all the races between them this week because all the, uh, all the race runners were on their holidays. And um, SO6 race runners seem to have more holidays than school children these days. I don't know why that is. <laughs> oh, well, I'm only joking. It's a thankless task doing the race running. I wouldn't fancy doing it. I'd rather just sit here and waffle. And I'm not even going to do that much longer, I don't think. So anyway, forget that. We're all over that one. And Bella Fortuna is in the lead. So XL Ashkelani, Pipe and Lloyd, which is Sticks. And then Gravy Trainers, they take the next. So volunteers required for everything. I would think, if you can give them a bit of time. I need some new commentators next season. I will need some new race runners. So over that one we go then. And it's Bella Fortuna in the lead from Gravy Train second, Mutanaka Black is third, then Nocho is fourth, and Bay of Schools on the outside is fifth. Hexel Ashkelani and Pipe and Lodge still going well. Jim Murray's lost his place, but it's Gravy Train in the lead from Bella Fortuna in second, then Nocho is third. Bay of Schools is after that one. And then comes Hexel Ashkelani, Pipe Lodge made in Arkham now, coming with a move around the outside last week's Cheltenham, whatever. But it's Gravy Train and Bella Fortuna over the 13th in front. They've got just two more to take now, and then Bella Fortuna's hit the front from Gravy Train. Kevin Minan's had a good day so far. Nocho's in third. Maiden Arkans back in fourth. They come down towards the second last. Now they've got two furlongs still to go. And over that one they go. And it's Bella Fortune that lands in the lead. But here comes Nocho on the outside. And also come with a run now. is Witches Sticks for the Grand National winning trainer. Leon Van Rensburg is Bella Fortune in the lead. Bella Fortune is in the lead still from Nocho. Gravy Train. Witches Sticks. Maiden Arkan looks beaten. It's Bella Fortune coming down towards the last fence in the lead. From Witches Sticks. Gravy Train and Nocho. These four they will get together. And it's Nocho that gets away from the best point. And on the outside the Eagle has landed his corner with a run at the end but he's not going to get there in time Nocho's going to take it from Eagle has landed which is the Bella Fortuna Gravy Train NXL Ashkalani and the last one to finish was Miss Peak 
and Nacho takes it for Daniel French. Eagle has landed for Joshua Sutherland. Came like a train at the end, but couldn't quite get there. Gravy Train was third for Kevin Meenahan. Bella Fortuna for Stu Gray was fourth. Witchy Sticks for Leon van Rensburg was fifth. That's it. Hope you enjoyed week 11, and we'll see you again for week 12. <laughs>